problems on this sheet titled 3D Geometry Class Illustrations Direct Applications of Basic Rudiments that we have learnt in 3D Geometry, right? So we are this time trying to find the equation of a line that passes through 2 minus 1 minus 1, right? 2 minus 1 minus 1 and that line should be perpendicular to this plane, should be perpendicular to this plane and I am sorry, a parallel to this plane and perpendicular to this line. That line passing through P, we want it to be parallel to this plane and perpendicular to this line. Okay, so if there is a line passing through 2 minus 1 minus 1, then its symmetric form would be say x minus 2 by sum A equals y plus 1 by sum B equals z plus 1 by sum C. Yes or no? Where AI cap plus BJ cap plus CK cap is a vector parallel to the line. Now, that means A, B, C are the direction ratios. What's a normal to this plane? A normal to this plane is 4i cap plus j cap plus k cap. The line is parallel to this plane. That means that line must be perpendicular to this vector. This is a normal to the plane. Right? That means ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap must be perpendicular to this vector. That means ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap dot 4i plus j plus k must be 0. That means 4a plus b plus c must be 0. Yes or no? ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap dot 4i plus j plus k must be 0. And that's going to give me 4a plus b plus c equal to 0. Yes or no? If this line has to be parallel to that plane, it must be perpendicular to the normal to the plane. If this line has to be parallel to the plane, it must be perpendicular to the normal to this plane. Yes or no? Hmm? Also, ai, bj, ck, ai plus bj plus ck must be parallel to this line perpendicular to this line. That means ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap must be perpendicular to the vector i cap minus 2j, 2j cap plus k cap. What's a, what's a vector parallel to this line? A vector parallel to this line is i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap is a vector parallel to this line. Right? And I want this line to be perpendicular to this line, the required line. And a vector parallel to this line is ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap is parallel to this line. So this dot this must be 0. You know? <coughs> that means a minus 2b plus c must be 0. a, b, c are direction ratios of the line. Now I can again perform cross multiplication. I can again perform cross, cross multiplication. a divided by 1 plus 2, 3 equals minus b divided by 4 minus 1 3 is c divided by minus 8 minus 1 minus 9. That means I could have selected a as 3, b as minus 3 and c as minus 9. I could have done that. So in this the equ required equation would be x minus 2 by a, a can be replaced by 3 equals y plus 1 by b. b can be replaced by minus 3 and z plus 1 by c. c can be replaced by minus 9. That's the equation. You can divide by 3 and simplify. 1 minus 1, 3. You could have written this as 1 minus 1, 3. Minus 3. That's the required equation of the line, right? This is one plane, this is another plane, but together what do they represent? Line. So this and this essentially is a line. Hmm? <coughs> what we are seeking is a line. What we are seeking is a line parallel to this line. This combo represents a line. We are seeking a line parallel to this line and passing through the origin, passing through the origin. So first of all, any line passing through the origin is like x minus 0 by some p is y minus 0 by some q equals z minus 0 by some r, where pi plus qj plus rk is a vector parallel to this line and also the direction ratios of this line, right? Now, this line 
is parallel to this line. What is this? These are two planes. These are two planes, isn't it? Say this is plane P and this is plane Q, isn't it? Plane P and this is plane Q. Together, what do they represent? The line of intersection, right? I am seeking a line parallel to this. I am seeking a line parallel to this. This is my line parallel to this line. Hmm? That means this line is perpendicular to the normal to this plane. This line is perpendicular to the normal to this plane. So this line which is parallel to this line will be perpendicular to the normal to P and will also be perpendicular to the normal to Q. Yes or no? This line whose equation we are seeking is perpendicular to the normal to this plane and perpendicular to the normal to this plane. Nahi samaj mein All of you, do you understand this? That means, what is a normal to this plane? B plus C i cap plus C plus A j cap plus A plus B k cap. What is a normal to this plane? B minus C i cap plus C minus A j cap A minus B k cap. And P i plus Q j plus R k is perpendicular to the normal to this plane and is also perpendicular to the normal to this plane. That means P Q R dot this comma this comma this must be 0. So I end up getting P into B plus C plus Q into on take I hope all of you understand this or do I need to write the vector notation plus R into A plus B must be 0. Right? And similarly P Q R when I take a dot product with this this and this I end up getting P into B minus C plus Q into C minus A plus R into A minus B equal to 0. How do I find PQR? Cross multiplication. P by something, P by C plus A into A minus B minus C minus A into A plus B is minus Q divided by B plus C into A minus B minus A plus B into B minus C, right, equals R divided by B plus C into C minus A minus C plus A into B minus C. And then I can take P as this, Q as minus of this, R as this <coughs> and plug into this that will give me the required equation of the line. Or I could have also found PQR by taking cross product of this I cap, this J cap, this K cap and this I cap, this J cap and this K cap. I could have taken a cross product and the supporting coefficients of I, J, K would give me PQR. Huh? What, what, what? Direct cross multiplication of this. Okay, so so essentially you will get the same thing. Yeah. You will get the same thing. Which is all right. Which is the same thing. How do you do that? How do you do that? I mean you just forget this and you say x divided by this into this minus this into this that will give you p. <laughs> Isn't it? Minus y. This into this minus this into this that will give you minus q and so. It boils down to the same thing. There is no difference. Right? So do you all understand what I did here? Huh? Clear na? So this is a plane. Hmm? The foot of the perpendicular from the origin onto this plane is given to be lambda, lambda, lambda. The foot of the perpendicular from the origin onto this plane is lambda, 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 right? And it's given that the sum of the squares of the intercepts made by this plane with the coordinate axis is k square. It's given that the sum of the intercepts, squares of the intercepts, sum of the squares of the intercepts made by this plane with the coordinate axis is k squared. I want to find lambda in terms of k. I want to find lambda in terms of k. Hmm. Hey, look, do you realize this is a normal to the plane? Hmm. 
do you realize f is lambda 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 so what is this vector lambda minus 0 i cap lambda minus 0 j cap lambda minus 0 k cap right so lambda i cap plus lambda j cap plus lambda k cap is it normal to this plane that means for this plane a could be selected as lambda b as lambda and c as lambda and this plane also passes through lambda 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 right so a plane any plane passing through a point x1 y1 z1 any plane passing through x1 y1 z1 can it be written as a into x minus x1 plus b into y minus y1 plus c into z minus z1 equal to 0 is any plane passing through x1 y1 z1 do you see that this is any plane passing through x1 y1 z1 so any plane passing through lambda 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 is like <coughs> A in this case is lambda into x minus lambda plus B which is lambda into x y minus lambda plus C right this plane also has a normal AI cap plus BJ cap plus CK cap right L lambda into Z minus lambda equal to 0 that's a that's a plane that's the equation of this plane do you all understand this you want me to explain? Dekho beta. Ye samaj mein nahi. Ye samaj mein sure. See, one of, first of all, is this a plane? Ax plus by plus cz. And what's d? d is minus ax1 minus by1 minus cz1. That's d. So this is a plane. And do you realize that no matter what my abc is, x equal to x1, y equal to y1, z equal to z1 will always cause this to be 0. That means this will always be a plane passing through this point. And what's the coefficient of x? A. What's the coefficient of y? B. What's the coefficient of z? C. That means the normal to this plane will still be ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap will always be a normal to this plane. Right? Right now? So, if abc represents a, the normal to the plane, then a plane passing through x1, y1, z1 with normal ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap is this plane is this plane yes or no so now this plane that i am talking of say let me call it a b c will this not represent a plane always passing through lambda 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 you know put x equal to lambda y equal to lambda z equal to lambda it will cause this to be zero so this is a plane passing through f but a normal to this plane is lambda i cap plus lambda j cap plus lambda k cap is a normal to this plane that means a can be selected as lambda b as lambda and c as lambda isn't it if a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap is a normal then those a b c's could be used right so this a is like my lambda right b is like my lambda and c is like a lambda see the normal to this plane is what? Lambda i cap plus lambda j cap plus lambda k cap. And do you realize this plane passes through lambda, lambda, lambda? This plane passes through lambda, lambda, lambda. So that's this plane. That's this plane. Yes or no? You know? So <coughs> I can divide by lambda. Lambda is not 0. Lambda is not 0. Right? So if I divide by lambda, I get this. Or I get x plus y plus z equal to 3 lambda <coughs> yes or no right hmm? so x by 3 lambda plus y by 3 lambda plus z by 3 lambda must be 1 right is that okay hmm? <coughs> That means this, these are my intercepts in the x, y, and z direction. These are my intercepts in the x, y, and z directions, right? And some of the squares is k squared. Some of the squares is k squares. Yes, these are my x, y, and z intercepts. Hmm? So if these are my x, y, and z intercepts, then 3 lambda whole square into 3. Some of that must be equal to k squared. Right? Or k can be plus minus 3 root 3 lambda. 
k can be plus minus 3 root 3 lambda. It's not matching. So lambda into x minus lambda, so lambda x lambda. This must be the answer. So it's not matching, but then there is a typo there. Don't bother about it. Then there is a typo there. 3 into 3 lambda whole squared. This is the line x plus 2 by 3 is y plus 1 by 2, z minus 3 by 2. And there is a point P, 1, 2, 3. I want to find a Q on this line at a distance 3 root 2 from this line, from this point, right. Now, this Q lies on this line and for this Q, let us say each of these ratios is equal to R for this Q, for this Q, right. This point Q has coordinates x, y, z such that these ratios is equal to r. That means what is the x coordinate of Q? 3 r minus 2, 2 r minus 1 and 2 r plus 3 would be the x, y, z coordinates of Q. So, coordinates of Q would be 3 r minus 2, nay? 3 r minus 2, 2 r minus 1 and this is 2, right? 2 r plus 3 would be the x, y, z coordinates of Q. And now you apply distance formula. This minus this whole square plus this minus this whole square plus this minus this whole square must be 3 root 2 square. So this minus this whole square is like a 3 r minus 3 whole square plus 2 r minus 3 whole square plus 3 r plus 2 r whole square. That must be 3 root 2 square. And there is a quadratic in r. Obviously you expected a quadratic in r because there can be two such q's. One Q can be like this, the other Q can be like this, isn't it? These are two possible locations of Q at a distance 3 root 2. At a distance 3 root 2. Right? So, one value of R will give me the coordinates of this Q. The other value of R from this quadratic will give me the coordinates of this Q. Yes, Manu? Bolo? No. Both if that was like of the form x by l, line passing through the origin, x by l is y by m is z by n. No, otherwise not. Otherwise, r is just a pa parameter for different x, y, z's on the line. You can solve for this quadratic, get two values of r. One r will give me the coordinates of this q. The other value of r, when plugged into this, will give me the coordinates of the other q. That is how it happens. Yes or no? The next problem is about two planes. Hold it like this. There is a plane x equal to 0. The x equal to 0 is the yz plane, isn't it? x equal to 0 is the yz plane. Every point on the yz plane has x coordinate 0. So, this let us say the horizontal plane, let us say is the yz plane. All right. And there is a plane 3y plus 4z equal to 0. Let me call this plane. This is the plane 3y plus 4z equal to 0. Right? Clear? Now what is done is this plane 3y plus 4z equal to 0 is rotated about this line, line of intersection with x equal to 0, is rotated about its line of intersection with x equal to 0 by an amount 60 degrees, by an amount 60 degrees, like this. This was my plane 3y plus 4z equal to 0. About this line, it is rotated by an amount 60 degrees. I want to find the equation of the plane in its new position. This was 3y plus 4z equal to 0. This was the plane x equal to 0. This was its line of intersection, right? And it is rotated about this plane by an amount 60 degrees. I want to find the new equation of the plane. But by the way, this is one plane x equal to 0. This is another plane 3y plus 4z equal to 0, right? The equation of the new plane obtained by rotation of 3y plus 4z equal to 0. This is the equation of the, this is the new plane. Do you realize even the new plane passes through the intersection of 3y plus 4z equal to 0 and x equal to 0. That means the plane in its new position will pass through the line of intersection of x equal to 0 and 3y plus 4z equal to 0. 
that means this plane can be looked upon as a plane passing through the line of intersection of 3y plus 4z equal to 0 and x equal to 0. That means this plane could be looked upon as a linear combination of the planes 3y plus 4z equal to 0 and x equal to 0. Right? So the equation in the new, new position is 3y plus 4z equal to 0 plus lambda x equal to 0. Yes or no? Thank you so much. So the plane whose equation we are seeking is 3y plus 4z plus lambda x equal to 0 is the plane, is the plane in its final position. Yes or no? It passes through the line of intersection of this equal to 0 and this equal to 0. That is why its equation is this, right? But this plane, call it R, and this original plane P, the angle enclosed between P and R is 60 degrees. The angle enclosed between P and R is 60 degrees, right? That means angle between the normal to this plane and the normal to this plane will also be 60 degrees. Angle between the normal to this plane and the normal to this plane will also be 60 degrees. What is the normal to this plane? 0 i cap plus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap is a normal to this plane, right? And what is the normal to this plane? The normal to this plane is lambda i cap plus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap is a normal to this plane, right? And the angle between these two normals will be the same as the angle between these two planes, which is given to be 60 degrees, which is given to be 60 degrees. I want to find lambda such that the angle between these two is 60 degrees. What do I do? I take the dot product of these two vectors. Right? If I took the dot product of these two vectors, what do I get? 0 into lambda, 0, 3 into 3, 9, plus 4 into 4, 16. That means 25. When I take the dot product, is that's 25. When I take the dot product of these two, that's 25. And that must be equal to magnitude of this vector. What's the magnitude of this vector? Root 9 square plus is 5. The magnitude of this vector is 5. Root 3 square plus 4 squared, 5 into what is the magnitude of, of this vector? Ru God bless you. Lambda squared plus 25 is the magnitude of this vector into what is the angle between these two vectors? 60 degrees. So into cos 60 degrees. That is how it happens. Angle between these two planes is 60 degrees. So angle between their corresponding normals will also be 60 degrees. So if I took the dot product of these two vectors, dot product of these two vectors is 25 is magnitude of this vector which is 5 into magnitude of this vector which is this into cosine of the angle between the two vectors cos 60 degrees, right? So what does it give me? It gives me, so this becomes 5 and then I have lambda squared plus 25 is 25 into 400, lambda squared is 75 or lambda will be plus minus 5 root 3. Do you realize there can be two positions? 60 degrees on one side and 60 degrees on the other side, right now? So one lambda will give me one of the planes, the other lambda will give me the other plane, right? That is how it works. See the final plane, look, this was my plane say original plane P 3y plus 4z plus equal to 0 is this plane, right? And this plane x equal to 0 is this plane. This is my plane x equal to 0, right? The two planes have a line of intersection, right? Now what I do is I flip this plane, th plane 3y plus 4z I flip about this line. That means the plane in its new position will still pass through this line. That means the plane in its new position will pass through the line of intersection of these two planes. And any plane that passes through the intersection of these two planes is, can be a linear combination. That is why this is the formation of the required plane. Different values of lambda will give me different place, planes passing through this line of intersection. Got me? Clear? So this time we are talking of
a line that line is you know these two planes together will constitute a line these two planes together will constitute a line call that l prime this is the asymmetric form of the equation of the line right <coughs> and now what we are seeking is another line l that passes through 1 1 1 that passes through 1 1 1 and is perpendicular to the line represented by this combo and is perpendicular to the line represented by this combo okay now when we are talking of this line when we are talking of this line that line is this so this line l prime is this line all right that line l prime is this line hmm? <coughs> and there is a point p 1 1 1 there is a point p 1 1 1 clear <coughs> Now, these are two planes and they intersect along this line. They intersect along this line. L prime will be a line, rather a combination of these two planes will always contain L prime, yes or no? That means if I look at a combination of these two planes which is like x plus 2y minus 4z plus lambda into 2x minus y plus 2z equal to 0. What is this? Is this a plane? Is this a plane? Linear combination of these two planes is a plane. But does this plane pass through the line of intersection of these two planes? The line of intersection of these two planes is L prime. Yes or no? Okay, yeah, L prime kya hai? It's the line of intersection of these two planes. No? That's L prime. Right? So is this a plane passing through the line of intersection of these two planes? A linear combination of two planes will pass through L prime the line of intersection of these two planes. That means this L prime is contained in this plane. This plane contains this line L prime. Right? Hmm? This is a plane on which L prime lies. This is a plane on which L prime lies. No issues? Now, I talk of if this plane passes through 1, 1, 1. What would be a plane containing this line and passing through 1, 1, 1? Let's say this plane. This is a plane passing through a point P, 1, 1, 1 and containing the line L prime. Yes or no? This is a plane passing through a point 1, 1, 1 and containing this line L prime. This is the plane containing L prime and if it has to pass through 1, 1, 1 also, then I can find the value of lambda for which this plane passes through 1, 1, 1. I'll, I'll repeat kya? Sure, na? This is this plane, is this plane, which contains the line L prime and passes through 1, 1, 1. So, can I find the value of lambda which will cause this plane to pass through 1, 1, 1? I can, right now. See? put x equal to 1, y equal to 1, z equal to 1 and obtain lambda. So, if this plane passes through 1, 1, 1, then we have 3 minus 4 minus 1 plus lambda into 2 minus 1, 1 plus 2, 3 equal to 0. Or that gives me lambda equal to 1 by 3. So, this plane will be a plane con containing the line L prime passing through L prime and the point 1, 1, 1 for lambda equal to 1 third. So, let me plug in lambda equal to 1 third and see what happens. <coughs> so, so this is like x plus 2y minus 4z plus 1 third into 2x minus y plus 2z equal to 0 is a plane passing through 1, 1, 1 and passing through and containing the line L prime. What is L prime? The line L prime is represented by this combination, is the intersection of these two planes. Yes or no? Let's see what it turns out to be. So, if I multiply by 3, I get this. So, we have 3x plus 2x, 5x, 6x minus y, 5y and then minus 12 plus 2 minus 10 z equal to 0, right? So, this plane is like x plus y minus 2z equal to 0. I am assuming I have not 
than any computational goof up. If I have, let me know. Minus 12 plus 2. So this plane, this plane is x plus y minus 2z equal to 0 is this plane. Yes or no? <coughs> now, what is it that I am seeking? Okay. Let me look at another plane this way. Containing L prime, containing L prime, this is another plane containing L prime and perpendicular to this plane. You know what I am saying? I am looking at another plane containing L prime. I am looking at another plane containing L prime and perpendicular to this plane. You will realize why I am saying this. This is the plane. Right? Say, this is the plane containing L prime, containing the line L prime. This is the plane containing L prime and perpendicular to this plane. Let me call this plane A and let me call this plane B. Plane containing L prime and perpendicular to plane A perpendicular to plane A is this plane. Hmm? This is a plane containing the line L prime and passing through 1, 1, 1. I hope you understand how I obtained the equation of this plane x plus y minus 2z equal to 0. This plane again contains the line L prime but is perpendicular to this plane. This plane and this plane they are orthogonal. They are orthogonal. Right? How does I, how do I, how do I find the equation of this plane? The equation, okay. Now this plane passes through L prime. That means this plane can be written as a linear combination of these two planes. So let us say for some lambda equal to lambda 1, for lambda equal to lambda 1, I get this plane, I get this plane. And what property does this plane have? See, I hope you understand that this plane will always contain the line L prime, right? Now, for some lambda 1, this plane will be perpendicular to the plane A, will be perpendicular to the plane A for some lambda equal to lambda 1, right? Now, I, I can find lambda 1 so that this plane and this plane are perpendicular to each other. What is the normal to this plane? The normal to this plane N1 is I cap plus J cap minus 2K cap is a normal to this plane, right? i cap plus j cap minus 2k cap is a normal to this plane. Now, uh, this plane can be written as, that means this is the plane B that I am talking of. This is the plane B that I am talking of. This is like 1 plus 2 lambda 1 into x plus 2 minus lambda 1 into y plus 2 lambda 1 minus 4 into z equal to 0. That is this plane, the plane B. Hmm? This is a plane, this is a plane containing L1, containing L prime and perpendicular to plane A, perpendicular to plane A. What is the normal to this plane? 1 plus 2 lambda 1 i cap. What is the normal to this plane? Normal to this plane is n2 which is 1 plus 2 lambda 1 i cap plus 2 minus lambda 1 j cap plus 2 lambda 1 minus 4 k cap is a normal to this plane. So, n2 is a normal to this plane, right? And n1 is a normal to this plane. And I want this plane to be, these two planes to be perpendicular to each other. When will they be perpendicular? If n1 dot n2 is 0, n1 is this, n2 is this, their dot product should be 0 for this plane B to be perpendicular to plane A. Yes or no? Hmm? So, <coughs> for B to be perpendicular to A, 
a n1 dot n2 must be 0 n1 dot n2 must be 0 right right n1 dot n2 means 1 into 1 plus 2 lambda 1 2 lambda 1 plus 1 into 1 into 2 minus lambda 1 plus minus 2 into this minus 2 into 2 lambda 1 minus 4 that must be 0 for such a value of lambda 1 this plane will be perpendicular to this plane yes or no hmm? so <coughs> what do I get I get lambda minus 4 lambda 2 lambda 1 lambda 1 minus 4 lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 1 and then I have 1 plus 2 3 plus 8 11 so equal to minus 11 <coughs> lambda 1 equal to 11 by 3 lambda 1 equal to 11 by 3 is the required plane will give me the required plane that means the plane B so if I plug in lambda 1 equal to 11 by 3 I get a plane perpendicular to this plane containing the line L prime and passing through 1 1 1 yes or no hmm? let me do that so let me plug in lambda 1 equal to 11 by 3 hmm? if you suspect calculation mistakes fix it all right So, 1 plus 2 lambda 1, 22 by 3 into x plus 2 minus 11 by 3 into y plus 22 by 3 minus 4 into z equal to 0 would give me the plane B perpendicular to plane A, right? <coughs> so, this gives me, <coughs> I can multiply by 3. So, I multiply by 3. So, this gives me 6, this gives me minus 12, <coughs> 25x minus 5y plus 10z equal to 0 is what I get as plane B hmm? which is like 5x minus y plus 2z equal to 0 is plane B, 5x minus y plus 2z equal to 0 is plane B, yes or no. Hmm? So, this plane, the equation of this plane is 5x minus y plus 2z equal to 0 is the equation of this plane. So far, so good. It might seem like, you know, I have terribly deviated from the problem. <laughs> I have not even addressed what is required as of now. But we have. We are done with the problem. Can I remove the clutter from here if you have finished making a note of it? Right? <coughs> what am I trying to do here? This is the line L prime. What was it? This combination is this line L prime. <coughs> I'm seeking, I'm seeking, and this plane is B is perpendicular to plane A, right? I am seeking to find the equation of a line passing through P. This is the line whose equation I am seeking. This is the line whose equation I am seeking. Passing through P and perpendicular to L prime and perpendicular to L prime. I am seeking this, this line, this line. Let us say line C. I am seeking the equation of line C. Line passing through P and perpendicular to L prime, right? Hmm? Hey, dekho baba. Very simple. This line, is it perpendicular to this plane? Right? The normal to this plane is 5i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap. The normal to this plane must be therefore along this line. The normal to this plane must be along this line. Yes or no? Right? That means what is the normal to this plane? The normal to this plane is 5i cap minus j cap plus 2k cap is the normal to this plane. That means this vector is parallel to this line. That means 5 minus 1 and 2 must be direction ratios of this line. 5 minus 1 and 2 must be direction ratios of this line. Yes or no? Right? 
So this is a line with direction ratios 5, minus 1 and 2 and passing through 1, 1, 1. So what would be the equation of this line C? The equation of this line C passing through 1, 1, 1 is like x minus 1 divided by 5 equals y minus 1 divided by minus 1 equals z minus 1 divided by 2. 5 this must be the equation of the line. Got me? Right. So, what we have is, say, a plane x plus y plus z equal to 1. That's the plane. Right? And there is another line, say this line L. There is another line, say L, which is x minus 1 by 2, y minus 1 by 1, z minus 1 by 1 is another line. Hmm? And I want to select a line, say L prime in this plane. I want to select a line L prime in this plane, such that L and L prime constitute a plane, such that L and L prime constitute a plane, perpendicular to the plane x plus y plus z equal to 1. This plane is known. This plane is x plus y plus z equal to 1. Is this plane. There is a line given to us which is x minus 1 by 2 y minus etc. That's this line L. That's this line L. And I need to select a line L prime on this plane. I need to select a line L prime on this plane such that L and L prime together constitute a plane. Obviously, then they have to be coplanar lines. L and L prime constitute a plane such that this plane is perpendicular to x plus y plus z equal to 1. That's what we need to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? First things first. <coughs> In general, Forget L prime for a while. Forget L prime for a while, right? Just look at this line L. Whose equation is this? Whose equation is this? How many planes will contain L? Infinity of planes. Obviously, you know, given a line, I can draw infinite planes containing that line. Given a line, I can draw infinite planes containing that line. I can draw infinite planes containing that line. Yes or no? Hmm? <coughs> now, this is the line. Hmm? Let me find a generic plane containing this line. Let me find a generic plane containing that line. Right? I will first seek to find a plane containing line L, this line. So, if a plane contains that line, then that plane must pass through 1, 1, 1. 1, comma, 1, comma, 1, which is a point on this line, must be a point on that plane, must be a point on that plane, yes or no? Right? Hmm? So, can I say that the formation of that plane containing this line L must be like some A into x minus 1 plus b into y minus 1 plus c into z minus 1 equal to 0 would be a plane passing through 1, 1, 1, which is also a point on this line. What am I trying to do? I am trying to find a plane containing this line. I am trying to find a plane containing this line. So, for sure, it will pass through 1, 1, 1 and this would be the formation. Now, what is a, what's a vector perpendicular to this plane? ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap is a vector perpendicular to this plane. Yes or no? Hmm? So, this plane that I am seeking passes through 1, 1, 1, passes through 1, 1, 1 because this line lies on this plane and uh, normal to this plane is ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap. Yes or no? That is a normal to this plane. And this is the line L. This is the line L. So, the normal to this plane must be perpendicular to the line L. 
What's a vector along this line L? 2i cap plus j cap plus k cap is a vector along this line L, right? Along this line L, what's a vector that you can conceive? 2i cap plus j cap plus k cap. That means these two vectors must be perpendicular to each other because this line lies on this plane and this is a normal to the plane. That means this dot this must be 0. Again, if you have forgotten the objective, I am trying to find a plane containing this line. That means that plane will pass through 1, 1, 1 and therefore that is its formation. Or normal to the plane is ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap. This line L lies on this plane. A vector along this line is 2i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So this vector perpendicular to this vector meaning this dot this must be 0. Right? That means if this dot this is 0 then 2a plus b plus C must be 0, right? Yes or no? Hmm? Clear? Hmm? Now, again, this plane containing this line, containing this line, I want this plane to be perpendicular to this plane. I want this plane to be perpendicular to this plane. Yes or no? I want this plane containing this line L to be perpendicular to this plane. That means the normal to this plane, the normal to this plane and the normal to this plane. They must be perpendicular to each other. What is a normal to this plane? I cap plus J cap plus K cap that is a normal to this plane. And what is a normal to this plane? Ai cap plus Bj cap plus Ck cap. Ye jo plane hai na, this is x plus y plus z equal to 1. Normal to this plane is I cap plus J cap plus K cap. This is the plane that I am seeking. Hitting this plane perpendicularly. This plane, this plane is intersecting this plane perpendicularly. Aisa. If this is this plane, this way. That is this plane. That means i cap plus j cap plus k cap dot ai cap plus bj cap plus ck cap must be 0. So, right. So, this dot this equal to 0 means a plus b plus c must be 0. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. <coughs> okay, so A is 0, yes, A is 0. So, for sure, for sure, the way to eliminate A, B, C from these equations is, I do not know if you have, no, so the way to eliminate A, B, C, A equal to 0 by inspection, but it may not always happen. So, the way to eliminate A, B, C from these three equations is X minus 1, this determinant, Z minus 1, and then 2, 1, 1, and then 1, 1, 1, this determinant equal to 0 will eliminate ABC. That is how you eliminate ABC. That is how you eliminate ABC. Now, this this then, this determinant equal to 0 will give me the equation of the plane, right? Because I have eliminated ABC, I have connected X, Y, Z on this plane. So, this would give me the equation of this plane. This would give me the equation of the plane, right? Required plane, this plane hitting this perpendicularly. So, what does it turn out to be? X minus 1, 1 minus 1, which expected to be 0, minus of Y minus 1 into 2 minus 1, 1 plus z minus 1 into 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 equal to 0 or y min equal to z is this plane. This plane is y minus z equal to 0, which intersects this plane perpendicularly, contains the line L, right? I have, there was this plane given to me x plus y plus z equal to 1. There was a line given to me. What have I found? I have found a plane 
which contains this line L, which contains the line L and intersects this plane perpendicularly. What's the equation of that plane? Y equal to Z is the equation of that plane. Yes or no? And then, and then obviously, this line of intersection of this plane and this plane would be the required line, isn't it? This line, which is the line of intersection of the plane y minus z equal to 0 and x plus y plus z equal to 1 would be the required line, isn't it? This plane y minus z equal to 0 and this plane x plus y plus z equal to 1. They will intersect along a line, which is this line. Which is this line? This is the line whose equation we are seeking. And what is this line? Intersection of y minus z equal to 0 and x plus y plus z equal to 1. That's this. Right. So the asymmetric equation of this line is this. The asymmetric equation of this line is this. I can convert it into a symmetric form. This is a line. This line. This line is what? This combination. Intersection of the plane y minus z equal to 0 and x plus y plus z equal to 1. Yes or no? I can convert this asymmetric into symmetric form. That will be my required line. That will be my required line which lies on this plane. And this line along with this line will constitute a plane that will intersect this plane normally. That was the problem that we had thought of. Got me? Hmm? Sure, na? So you can convert this non-symmetric form into symmetric form? Yes. 